turn to us from a uh, customer acceptance standpoint. Testing of the impact for aerodynamic efficiency has been extensive. Recently, the vehicle was taken to the GM Aerodynamic Laboratory at the Tech Center in Warren. This full-scale wind tunnel can produce air speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. The on-site computer system records the test data for later comparison to clay model and other preliminary test results. Our purpose is to see how we did from translating from third scale to full scale, and then we'll do a, a couple of uh, changes to the vehicle. We know what happened in, in reduced scale, so we want to check and see if they, they're still holding up as drag reducing uh, items in, in full scale. If history or tradition has its way, it will be somewhat higher than what we got in reduced scale. Now we, we normally take that into account in all of our testing and we put in a, an adjustment factor that we've developed from years of doing this thing that allows us to project fairly accurately what the, the full size running car is going to be. In addition to aerodynamic efficiency, another key component in the challenge for increased range and performance is Impact's power source. The battery pack contains 32 10-volt lead-acid batteries. It's a, an evolution that Delco uh, Remy has uh, been working with. It's called a recombinant lead-acid battery, and it has uh, got more uh, higher power density and it's uh, smaller in size. Uh, we didn't want to look at uh, some of the more exotic battery research that's going on that, that may be in the 10 to 15 years uh, out that might keep us from going into production with this kind of a vehicle. Rather than wait for a breakthrough, let's say, let's take the batteries that we've got here today and see if we can make a viable electric car that goes over 100 miles. And that, that we've done. Now, a breakthrough in batteries will just make a car like this that much better. I mean, maybe we will see a 300-mile range in the future. The impact is powered by two alternating current induction motors, one for each wheel. These high-speed motors are designed to minimize both size and weight while delivering maximum power. At 60 miles per hour, for example, these small electric motors turn at 9,500 RPM compared to the average 2,000 RPM for a gasoline engine. Combining this technology, then, with the battery pack and the sleek style helped to produce some very impressive performance results. The one thing that we didn't compromise at all on is the acceleration performance. We wanted to make it something that people would, would sort of think twice and say, wow, that's pretty fast. And so we had an initial target of 8.0 seconds for 0 to 60 miles an hour, and we actually met that uh, target. What we did was we ran a uh, comparison between um, a Mazda Miata and a Nissan 300ZX uh, car on a drag race, if you will, and uh, 0 to 60, the impact will walk away from these two cars. And uh, as we did that, um, it, it really moved the electric vehicle from the golf cart kind of mentality to this is a viable candidate for uh, merging with traffic, uh, fitting in to the current driving uh, uh, requirements that we have on today's road systems. One thing about this car that you don't get on very many internal combustion powered cars is throttle response, fun to drive that is really second to none. It really it has a, a, an immediate feeling of connection between your wishes and the accelerator pedal and what the car does that you don't find very often. It's a fun car to drive. Though produced as an engineering test car, the Impact made brief appearances in Los Angeles, Chicago, and several European cities. During its initial showing in Los Angeles, four out of five persons surveyed said they would definitely consider buying an electric car. 95% saw it as a sophisticated high-tech car, and 97% said driving the Impact would help the environment. At the Tech Center recently, GM employees echoed these rave reviews during an impromptu showing. It's nice, you know, it's got a real nice aerodynamic look. You know, it's good to see uh, GM coming out with things that seem to be, you know, on the high tech, on the verge of uh, some really breakthroughs. So, you know, it's, it's impressive. Oh, I've heard a lot about it. I've heard how fast it goes and what its top speed can do, and I'm very impressed with it. Now, I like it a lot. Now that you've had a chance to see it, is there something in particular that, uh, that kind of sticks out in your mind that you like? The styling. Being an electric car, you can do a lot with the styling, and I like the way it looks. I think the advantages are you have far, far, far fewer moving parts. You're going to have much more reliability. I think the car will probably go two to three times longer. Um, and I think that's where we need to be going. It's clean, uh, no pollution.
yeah, I'd buy one today. It wasn't long ago that one could only imagine an electric car like the Impact. Today, that has changed. I'm very pleased to announce today that we are taking a major step toward helping our country meet its transportation needs and environmental goals. We are proceeding with our plan to produce and sell the Impact. With the future of the Impact now decided, American car buyers can look forward to an aerodynamically efficient, longer range electric car that looks great and moves even better. So go ahead, imagine the Impact. The wait may be shorter than you think. <laughs>